Chris, who see true American tasty food cuisine. Okay, American cuisine, and you complain. Yep. I'm just gonna eat it right now. Mm. Look at that. Dumb. Yummy. It's constant. I think I just spit it out. It's concentrated sugar. And it tasted good. What was wrong with that? What's wrong with concentrated sugar? Are you jealous? I'll be healthy. I'll wash it down with Kirkland water. You gotta love Kirkland. Biting and chewing the lollipop is the unhealthy part. Thoughts? You get to taste it faster. Neither the flames nor their depths could claim me. If you're jealous of concentrated sugar, you have ADHD. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Less long. I don't know, man. I, for some reason, I I know you're supposed to like suck a lozenge and like a lollipop, but like you just chew it. I don't know. I've been doing that for a while. Whenever I'd have holes. Not you, you, I mean, I don't know. Sponsored by Kirkland. Have you seen Kirkland? Press one if you like beef jerky. Press one if you, bro, it's so expensive. Premium signature beef jerky on Amazon. Yeah, beef jerky's fucking good. Beef jerky is so good. They want $50 for 12 ounces, for 24 ounces of, of beef jerky. $55. This is what it looks like. Okay, uh, this is expired. No, no, no. Th that's expired. That's not. That is expired beef jerky. <laughs> and then they post another image. I'm looking at all the... Um, I'm looking at all the negative reviews of this beef jerky, and everyone's like, one bite, one closer, one step to the grave. Like, does that look bad? I guess that's bad now. There's even, what is that, a hair? <laughs> I, think, I think the guy chewed it a bit. So good. No, the other ones look like poo. This, this here is like poo. That is dehydrated. Well, even more so than it should be. It's dog shit. It's literal dog shit. Worst jerky I had was Jack Link's Dr. Pepper flavored beef stick. What a gamer, what a gamer food. Why would you ever want Dr. Pepper, Pepper, Dr. Pepper beef? I'm not playing Space Marine 2.
The game is now outdated. It's like it's a full price game for something I'd play once or twice and be done. Whereas I said I'd play like since it is October, there's a difference. I said I would play uh uh What's that fucking game called? We just talked about it. What's that game? Fucking uh, Silent Hill. No, not SCP. I'm not playing SCP. Can I just... Can I get into SCP lobbies and just be a, a loser? Like a nuisance? Can I roleplay as some, like, American military, like, guard at the station? Some very, very patriotic guy. You can. I mean, it sounds goofy, but it'd be fun for maybe like a day. You're not even gonna kill me, chill out. Alright, good try. Are you really- bro, listen, if you want me to play Space Marine so bad, and you wanna sit here and preach the goodwill of the Emperor, who is just a fucking rotten, raisiny corpse on a throne, if that's you, hey, cough up the money, bitch! You want me to play that dead game of a bunch of dead superhuman freaks. That's what I need. Silver serpents. No, I, d I don't care about the Imperium. If it was a Votan-based game, I'd still probably not care, but it'd be more enticing. How much does it cost on stream? $90, probably. If you... If you hey... I ain't gonna I ain't gonna stop you. You want you want me to play it? Go for it, bro. But I don't want to buy that game. I think it's like what, 90 bucks? 90 Canadian after tax. Not USD. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get for triple A games these days. You spend a whole fucking week's worth of groceries. It was short, but nice. <laughs> Avada did say that when we first started dating. <laughs> Don't remind me. Don't remind me. She never said that. I'm Jamaican. Part Jamaican. I've got that Jamaican jackhammer fucking slammer. <clears throat> My dad's Jamaican. Yeah. Six three IRL? Okay, that's a little bit too tall. I'm like six foot. I'm a I'm a humble six foot tall. Yep. Yeah. You look Latino. I don't look like what I'm supposed to be. My dad's Jamaican, my mom's white. My mom would bring me around in a stroller as a kid, and she said she had compliments saying that's the nicest little Mexican baby people have seen. I don't know, dude. I don't know what I'm supposed to look like. Oops. You look Chinese! China. My dad's mother's Chinese. I'm part Chinese as well. Pretty sure we took some sort of like ancestry thing at one point. I'm Chinese, Jamaican, 
I think I'm also like you look Irish. Like a scurvy dog. People like dogs. That's why you never tell someone in League they're a dog. Because it's more of a compliment. You look like my cousin from Tijuana. Oops. Wait, did Nautilus? Okay, I accidentally just griefed. This fucking Nautilus says he's giving up. Zero CC, good luck, I'm in Fountain. Wait, he griefed? Wait, what? I don't know, man. Genetics are weird, dude. Genetics are very weird. Genetics are a very weird thing. Oh, it's so boring, man. This lane is for losers. You're still- do, do not take that kill. Do not take that kill. Do not come! Do not come! If I didn't waste my fucking R, I would have just killed him. I'm 5'6 and almost 21 years old. You know what I say to that? I say who gives a fuck? Who cares? Genetics are different for everyone. You've got people who look like Henry Cavill, and then you've got me. I don't give a fuck. Like, it just, like, that's life sometimes, you know? It does, some people aren't happy with themselves, and I think for me, I'm not happy with myself, but I'm not, I don't let it, like, destroy me. You know what I mean? It's just a gamble, bro. It's like solo queue. You were born, you were shot out of that womb, either down a flight of stairs, or into, like, a mansion, right? Like, it's just... Genetics are a weird thing. So let's say you breed... What are you typing? I breed with a redhead. What kind of mutant would you produce? What? Bro, that's a Twitter word. Don't say it. That's a weird Twitter word. Nice. That Nautilus is shit. This guy's shit. No, that Nautilus is shit. That dude is- that dude's shit. Nah, bro, you're shit. No way you can flame other people. You're dog shit. Would you clone Mochi? But then it wouldn't be Mochi, so why would you want to? So they can be friends? I think that'd be kind of sick. I don't know about that. It'd be kind of sick. Good Mochi versus Mochi Evil. I mean, he's just, he's both. Mochi can be a demon or your angel. Mochi should be about a year and two. But a year and two?
Nautilus is the epitome of League of Legends experience. Yeah. True. This guy's a fucking freak. He's just... The weirdest thing about this player is he's griefing himself. He literally has the shittiest plays ever, but then he's blaming other people and he's deciding to grief. He's griefing over being bad. That's the difference. It's not like, oh, I just got fucked up by my team. It's not the team, bro. Smolder's so cringe. What a brain dead shit champ. This Nautilus is fucking griefing though, 100%. He's not really trying anymore. Well, because he sucked early game. I'm gonna have to flash this, really. Not a terrible hook, but I can't really do anything. Ult him, ult him, ult him, he's dead. If you ult him, he's dead. Hello? Man, that's one cull. Oh my god. <laughs> Character, though. Oh. You dare slack on my ship. Take me shiny points. Me shiny points, lady. But done, thank you, buddy. Now, oh, Gwen's OP as shit. Gwen is a hyper broken fucking character. You just die to nothing. She hits you with like one ability, you get all your HP gone. You know what's cringe? Gwen feels more of like what Graves should be. Where like, if she goes in, she does a lot, but that's not really Graves. Like, what if Graves had that damage? Do you know what I mean? Big giant like radiuses in the middle of uh... Like right in front of you. No, not concept. I mean, like, the way she deals damage. Nah, he saw me. There's no way. That was the saddest fucking bush ever. He didn't see me? I don't have... Oh, I don't have uh, Triforce attack speed. That's why it feels so weird. I'm so used to having AS from uh, Triforce, but like, I'm just doing, I'm doing Collector for fun. First item, Lachine. Again, for fun. Did you know this interaction? You can queue a minion and auto the tower with a Sheen proc. Did you know that? That's what I just did. Regard's fine. 
I'm dead. Maybe I'm not dead. She did, uh... What a character. Good god. I did not know. Yeah, you can queue a minion and auto the tower and you get the sheen proc. Instead of using E's and W's. Like, ideally, you don't want to use W on tower. Because W is too important. Like, if you use W and then get a sheen proc and then you get jumped on, you're fucked. But, like, you have so many Q's, you could just Q a minion auto, Q a minion auto. You have enough attack speed to do it. And queuing isn't even, like, it doesn't eat your auto attack, so you always have one. That should be Triforce. Yep. Is there a Deathwing-like character in League lore? Yeah! Right there, baby Smolder. That's him. That's League's premier dragon who isn't a soul. Yeah. Actually, Shivana's also a dragon. Ah, it's like a half dragon thing. You're kidding, right? No. That's him. That's Deathwing. There are three dragon champs in the game, lore wise. I'm sure there's more. Collector. Collector, bless me. You're flashing for what? You get collected. Your head gets mounted above my fireplace, you decrepit beast of hell. What region would you like Riot to explore next if they were to continue with Arcane? Um, Bilgewater. I think... Press 1... Okay, this is so biased knowing how this stream is. Press 1 if you think a Bilgewater show like Arcane would be very exciting. Like, it's gotta be, bro. There's so many fucked up weird things going on in Bilgewater. You could have so many fun things. You could. Two... Wrong stream. No, you could do a lot with it, for sure. I think the reason they'll never do Arcane set in Bilgewater is because we've already done the Ruin King, and the Ruin King was kind of like the end-all be-all for Bilgewater lore right now. Bandle City would be too boring. I think Bandle City is like a little weird mini-series thing, like only like four episodes or some shit. I don't know. Obviously, if you want some serious conflict, you'd probably look to maybe, like, Ionia with Noxus or something. Shit like that. I mean... Oops. You're lucky. You're lucky your your champs in Arcane. I thought we'd go hint. I thought we'd go crazy.
I mean, there really, there isn't anything to really explore anymore with Bilgewater. Bilgewater has already had its kind of big monumental, you know, lore shattering fucking events, right? Like the downfall of Gangplank and you could say the Ruin King, you know, Vigo coming back and, uh, That was so clean. I just fucked that bitch up. Uh, there's already been kind of enough things happening in... Really? Just auto her. Auto her, you inbred. Auto her. I know you're not trying to win, but auto her. Fucking dog shit support player. Just trolling. Bilgewater's already been explored, is all I'm trying to say. We're basically done with Bilgewater. Everything that's that's happened is kind of just that region for now. The next thing that would happen would be the downfall of Misfortune, right? What else could it be? What would matter in Bilgewater? Nagake Boros being a thing? Some weird serpent deity god fucking beast? Like, there just isn't anything else happening in that region. I think they've kind of exhausted what they wanted to do with it for now. You could do the story of Misfortune. You could show how Misfortune goes from losing her parents to kind of getting revenge on the man who took everything from her. You could do that. But we've seen that, you know? And I guess it's more so... Like, we haven't seen Vi and Jinx and all these characters and kind of Piltover and Zaun existing and kind of... I guess, their origin story. Uh, you, again, you could do that with Misfortune. You could. You'd have to probably create new characters, you know, that aren't mentioned anywhere, but... It's doable. Is she really in the pit? Please don't hit the Blast Cone. Or this. What did I just- I think I griefed. I think that was like a slight grief. Well, it, it is- you could open up with new stories. I think... The biggest thing for Riot, in terms of like, what do we want to do with Arcane? Is they want to tell something that is familiar with League players, but not something foreign to... Um... Like, if you've never played League and you watched Arcane, you'd have no idea what the fuck's going on. If you played League and you watched Arcane, you'd have a sense of what's going on, but you'd also be like, oh, really? You know? Um, it still does need to be rooted in some sort of lore for League. Obviously, you can't just make it out of the blue and be like, oh, this is the story of Shen's right toe. You know, uh, that... Uh, has a sentient, you know, it can think for itself or something. Some weird, stupid fucking thing. Like, you have to base it on something people know, right? Like, yeah. Jinx, Vi, that was basically the anchor of the show, and then you had everyone else kind of made for it. Silco and Vander. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jinx had all those friends initially in lore, but, like, we never saw them, maybe? Something like that. Um... But I think going off and kind of creating something really out of the blue or something that we're not familiar with isn't a good idea, if that's what you're saying. I don't know. You could literally go back and you can retell things, right? Like, if they wanted to do Bilgewater, 
you tell the story of misfortune. That is the best way to do it. You start from point A, you end up at Z, eventually, with GP's downfall. And then the rise of misfortune is the new captain. Ooh. I just griefed, and I didn't want to grief, but I griefed. Whatever. I, I don't even- I don't know what I just did there, man. I don't know what I did. I have no clue what I just did. I fucking trolled. I like- I would like to see- I- I don't like Victor in this game, but Victor's cool. They really make you feel sorry for Victor. A diseased cripple. Who, uh... You know, well, not, not diseased, but... Yeah, Victor is not... Victor was cool in Arcane. For sure. Pantheon would be dope. That'd be cool. That'd be very, uh, masculine. I think it would be... I don't, I don't know if I'd want to go the god route with the aspects and everything. I think that may be a little bit too far-fetched. I kind of like the grounded... When, when it comes to portraying demigods or beings of, like, great power, it really takes you out of it. I think something like Arcane... You know, with Zaun and Piltover, it's grounded, it's gritty, you feel for these characters versus kind of like these astral beings who have way too much going on, you know? Like, you want that relatability. It's not to say that, oh my god, I'm him, but I just think it works a bit better. I think it's better left as more of a, it's there, it's omnipresent, it's in the background, these beings exist. You may catch a, a, a glimpse of them or something, but like they're not the main focus. You know what I mean? Yeah, more human, more relatable, more gritty, more grounded. Like when you when you start getting into godly beings and things who are inhabiting bodies and shit like that, like it's badass, it's cool, but I don't think it makes for a good show. You want the real struggles. All that other shit is kind of like beyond our comprehension, you know? It's like, oh, this is this is too grand, it's too crazy. What is this? Holy shit, they're dead. Anything with Ari would make big bucks. Ishtal would be so boring. I don't know. I, I, I'm i not really a fan of Ishtal. Ishtal is like the adventures of fucking Kiana's bitchiness. With Skarner floating around. And Rengar. And Nidalee. Having sex with Nico on the internet on Twitter. Now live action. Animated. Like it's just <sighs> ah, bro. It's not my thing. Bad girl Kiki. <laughs> okay, what Ishtal characters are money makers for Riot? Name popular Ishtal characters that make money for Riot Games. Go. 
You said they, that you said popular money making characters. Nico is probably a good bet. Sure. Zyra, Malphite, Skarner, bro. None of those characters. Literally none of them. Like I can agree that Nico is probably a fan favorite. Kiana's not really a fan. Fa the Kiana Twitter stands are are mutants. Those guys are freaks. But like overall, Kiana's not a, a popular character. I would say Nico is probably up there. Not like, you know, tier one like Ari, but more of a favorite. I don't know. Ishtal doesn't have anything. And everyone loves pirates. Who do, who doesn't like pirates? Who hasn't seen Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Like, that's such an easy... Such an easy thing to get behind for, like, a Bilgewater series, you know? It could literally be Pirates of the Caribbean in Rune Terra. That's what it would be. What was Gwen doing? Nobody knows. I mean, we can defend this. We don't lose the game, but like, holy cringe. We don't die here, we win the game. Stop their bases. Look, Ergot's literally winning the game. Can we go in? One, GG. Nice. That's all you had to do, you mute mutant piss ants. That's all you had to do. Ergot was ending the game. You just waste as much time as you can, you win. Nautilus carried diseases around. Yes, he did. The Nautilus gave up like two minutes in. Wow. Okay.